rounding three-digit numbers to the nearest hundred. And the focus of, of what we want to do, I'm going to look at it three different ways. The focus, though, needs to be on identifying the digit in the hundreds place, because that's the digit that's going to change, whichever method I use. So if I have a number, 486, and the instructions are round to the nearest hundred. I go ahead and I underline the hundreds place because I know that's the digit that's going to change. Everything else is going to end up being a zero. Because I'm, I'm rounding to the nearest hundred, my answers have to end in at least two zeros. So my answer would end up being zero, 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 1,000. And then I go on from there, 1,100, 1,200. But I'm ending in two zeros, always. And I'm focusing the number I change on being the hundreds place. And so one approach is to do what we did the first day in class, and that is to figure out what your the top number you would round to would be and to figure out what the bottom number you would round to would be, depending on what's in the digit beside it. And the top number, if I'm thinking of 486, the next group of 100 is 500. So that could be the answer. Or right below, the 100 right below 486 would be 400. So that could be an answer. These are your two choices. And then I circle the digit to the right. If I can always remember to find the place value I'm rounding to, I underline it. And then draw that circle around the digit directly to the right, because that's going to be what I use to decide. And if it helps, draw that arrow to focus your attention on that digit in the circle. And ask yourself, is it a 5 or up? If it's 5 or up, I go up. I round up. If it's 4 or down, I'm going to round down to that 100. And since 8 is 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, it is 5 or up, 486 would round to 500. The next approach I'm going to take is similar, but it kind of cuts out a step. And if this is easier, this is fine. Again, let's round 631 to the nearest hundred. Underline the hundreds place. And instead of deciding what my what I would round up to and what I would round down to, I'm just going to go ahead and focus on this digit to the right. I'm going to draw my arrow. I'm focused on that, and I'm going to ask my question. Is it 5 or up? If it is, I'm going to go up. If it's 4 or down, I'm going to go down. And I see that 3 is not 5 or up, so I'm going to put my 6 there. Probably the biggest mistake I see is that people will round 631 and they'll forget to put the 6 in the hundreds place. And then I'm going to put 2 zeros. So 631 rounds down to 600. So that's another approach you could take. You could cut out making your choices and just look at that digit and write your answer. And the final choice, or another way to do it, would be if you had the number 892 and you're rounding to the nearest hundred, I would again underline the hundreds place because you know that's the digit that's going to change. And then what you could do is you could draw a number line and you could think of a number line because if you think of these on a number line, sometimes that's easier. Rounding 892 up to the nearest hundred would be 900. 892 down to the hundred before 892 would just be 800. It's right before. And so 892 is somewhere between these. I go ahead and I mark my middle spot because I know that anything that is 850 or up is going to round up to 900. And anything that is below is going to round down. And then I plot on the line. I put it where 892 would be. And it would be up here close to 900 probably. So I've got 892 on my screen close to 900. And since it's closer to 900, I'm going to round up to 900. So 892 would round to 900. And again, it doesn't matter which method you choose. It's what makes sense to you. The important thing that, you, that I want you to remember is to underline the digit we're rounding to, whether we're rounding to the nearest 10, whether we're rounding to the nearest 1,000. Underline the digit that we are rounding to. And then remember that you're going to focus your attention on the digit that is directly to the right of that number. 5 and up goes up. 4 and down stays down.